It's Nick from UK Gardening. Uh, it's now uh, beginning of April and I'm going to cut this uh, cornice or dogwood back. They respond really well to, uh, to pruning and if you don't actually uh, cut them back hard they will uh, um, lose their winter colour. Uh, best time to cut them is, or cut them down is uh, March through to about mid-April. We've had a particularly mild winter and spring so this one's actually put on quite a lot of leaf. leaf. I could have probably done it a couple of weeks ago. But obviously, if you, the sooner you cut it down, um, you'll you'll lose all that, that nice red cover, colour um, from the stems. So what I'm going to do is actually cut them down, right, just above the ground. Now, if you're a bit um, nervous about cutting them all down, you can actually cut them down in a third. So over a three-year period, you can actually remove a third, a third, a third. But as I say, they respond really well to to being cut back hard. So I'm just going to cut these down to. about six inches from the ground and remove any weak, that is a weak dead uh, stem. Now I'm not going to waste these. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut these in about eight inch, eight to twelve inch um, lengths. I want to cut straight across on a, just below a bud. Now I'm going to remove these leaves and then I cut an angle just above a bud remove these these weak bits let's see if I can and then I'll just push them into halfway down into some regular garden compost give them a good water I'll just do this one so straight across the one shoot right um, remove the weak growth and then I'll just nip it out cut it at an angle at the top if you're doing um, straight stems it'll tell you which way is which way is up and which way is down in case you get confused but it also allows any any rain to run off Right, so this one, okay, straight across, and then another good one. This do with some sharp sectors. This one, I'm going to remove that dead bit there. Remove any dead bits. Cut that back. That back. I'm just going, I'm cutting it to a, a bud. And then this one, I'll cut to just below leaf bud and I need to sharpen my second tears and a slug Right, cut across there, 8 to 12 inches, look for another leaf bud, 
put that in there. Half, about halfway down, water it well. I'm actually going to do these ones as well. These are actually bought as a Christmas present for my wife. So they need cutting back. These are uh, a yellow colour. You can see that they're already reverting back to the, the green. I'm going to cut these back. This is a more vigorous type than the, the red one that I've just cut. Again, I'm going to cut this one. Much it. I'm going to water both um, the cuttings and the, um, the parent plant. Right, so I'm going to uh, water both the parent plant and the cuttings really well. These uh, cuttings that I've just taken, if you're not going to um, pop them up immediately, put the bottoms in a, uh, a bag um, with a wet tissue or wet rag or just a little bit of water because obviously if you leave them uh, for any length of time in the garden without putting them in a, a moist soil they're going to start to callus over. Um, right so I've just uh, I've relocated so you can perhaps see better or see what I'm actually doing. Again I'm saying cut straight across there. Then I'll just put an angular cut in there. push it about halfway down in there. I've, I've got quite a few dogwood cuttings here as you can see and hopefully I can you know, give some of these away. I've used rigid if you use I've used rigid sided pots if you use uh, poly poly bags uh, as you pick them up and uh, if you move them around the garden and the soil does tend to get loose against the stems so it's better to use uh, stiff sided pots or terracotta pots. Um, rather than the uh, poly bag type. Last one in there. So just broken that off there. Just get that up there. Right, and lastly, give it a bit of water. Keep it well watered. That's about it. Put them somewhere uh, sheltered in the garden. Uh, they don't need to go to the greenhouse or anything. They are they are hardy. Um, so somewhere sheltered in the in the garden where they're not going to get rocks by the wind. And that's it. Keep, as I say, keep them well watered. If there's any questions you've got, then post them below. Thanks very much. Bye.